What the fuck, guys? I've been here for four days. Waiting to make this goddamn video. And first of all, you're... You're an hour late? I'm fine with it. You're two hours late? That's fine. Four days? Shit. Well, we might as well do it. We might as well do the video. I'm playing Clam Man. Which, from what I've seen, is like a fantastic game. It's supposed to be pretty funny, so... We'll see if it makes us laugh. If it makes you laugh, uh, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. The town of Snacky Bay, 30 years ago. Snacky Bay, prime mayonnaise. Nice. I like the egg lights. They kind of look like eggs. See that? Ooh! Deadbeat Patrick. Okay, looks like this is our office. Right click on things to interact. The basketball hoop makes throwing paper balls in the trash a joy. That's good. Puts the fun back in failure. Oh, that's not not quite as good. Motivational poster. Motivational. Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, Vol... There's no title, it's just volume. Dude, dude, did you hear? Take it easy, Pete. Hear what? It's Lindsay. Dude, she got laid off just like that. What? Really? Why? What happened? I don't know. I was going to ask you. Must have been pretty bad to get fired on the spot like that. Ah, you know, Lindsay. Probably being disrespectful to Mr. Bossman. Being disrespectful to Mr. Bossman? How disrespectful are we talking here? Really disrespectful? Really disrespectful? I don't know, man. Super disrespectful? Nah, not Lindsay. Super duper disrespectful? That's pretty disrespectful. The most disrespectfulest? The most disrespectfulest? Infinity disrespectful? Is this the whole game? That would actually be pretty funny if it was the entire game. It's just like seven hours of this. Yeah, that might have been it. Um, slacking off? Dude, I don't know. Probably worse. I mean, I slack off. In fact, I'm slacking off right now. Some people might even say that you're slacking in work ethic. Well, let's not be those people. Spending company money? Oh, maybe that's it. She was always wearing those fancy silk tops and stuff. Did she have access to the company accounts? I don't think so. But then, how would she get the money? Hey man, don't ask me. I'm not the embezzler here. Maybe she laid some kind of trap. A trap? A trap for money? Yeah, like a pyramid scheme. Or crowdfunding. Wow, hmm. That's interesting. Maybe like crowdfunding. Yeah, maybe like a Patreon. Maybe she opened a Patreon. Spending company money? So I've done all this. Oh, right here, right here, right here. Always brewing just half a pot of coffee? Is she the one who's been doing that? If that's true, I'm not sure I feel sorry for her anymore. Why do you even drink coffee when all you do is try to nap during work hours? Keeping up appearances, man. Yeah, you gotta drink coffee. If you work in an office, the rule is you have to drink coffee. If you don't, you could actually potentially get fired. I'm not joking. Boss man would never suspect someone who's had six cups of coffee to be sleeping on the job. You know what? That is true. Anyway, thought I'd let you know. Yeah, thanks. Is she still here? Can I go say goodbye? Nah, man. She packed up her things pretty quickly. Rumor is, she took it pretty hard. Oh, and another thing, boss. Wanted to- oh. And a, oh, and another thing. Boss wanted to see you. He's not the boss. He's Clam Man. We are a Clam Man. Me? Did he say why? Yeah, dude, that's always like heart pounding out of your chest kind of stuff. 
when you get called to the principal's office or the, you know. Nah, man, she just spoke to Cheryl. Oh, I just spoke to Cheryl. That doesn't sound good. Well, considering what just happened to Lindsay, that doesn't sound good. Relax, dude. It's probably just another chat about workflow and synergy and team spirit. Hopefully. Guess I'll head over there. All right, man. I'll see you later. Hopefully. Synergy, efficiency, productivity, fun. I get it. Go catch some sleep. I don't think I don't think I won't try. Okay. I believe you, dude. I'm not calling you a liar. All right, so it looks like we have to go. But before we do that, I'm going to check out a couple of other things. I really like that calendar. It's really extensive. Ooh, a call. Every single day in the year is in there. One of the perks of being junior sales representative. My very own phone. It's even better when it doesn't ring. Can I answer it? Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise. Clam Man speaking. Hello? Hello? Is this the mayonnaise people? Not at all, but go ahead anyway. No, no, this is Clam Man. I have a question about the mayonnaise, please. Oh, right. Well, this is sales. So I... What would happen, theoretically, if someone was to smear your mayonnaise all over his butt? I'm not sure I follow. Would it say, I don't know, make you more aerodynamic? Hmm, that's actually a good question. I don't know how fluids make you more aerodynamic. I'm not sure if that's how it works, because, I mean, I would think it would just add more bulk to you, making you less aerodynamic. Um, because even though you're lubed with the mayonnaise, you, you might be more slippery, but that doesn't really help when you're talking about air resistance. Being slippery doesn't necessarily equate to being slippery in the sky. Hypothetically. I, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Good to know. Tommy, Tommy, it's not going to work. No, I said it's not going to work. Not. No, Tommy, wait. Don't light the fuse. So what are they doing? They hung up. My god. Light the fuse. Aerodynamic. I guess they're sending they're, they're sending one of them to the to space or Tommy's going into the moon or something. Is this a different one? Hey, this is Snacky Bay Mayonnaise. Uh, that's correct. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, so I bought a jumbo-sized fun pack of your prime mayo the other day, and I left it out during the night, and now it's gone. Oh, right. I see. Well, this is sales, so I'll just connect you to customer... I don't think that's a thing that should happen. Well, no, it... I think I should get my money back. I bought mayonnaise, and it was clearly defective. Why else would it vanish overnight? I really couldn't... No, you'll answer my question. The customer is always right. Maybe someone stole it? Or it developed sentience and wandered off? It's possible. It probably developed sentience and wandered off. That can happen with the jumbo size fun pack variant. Oh, well, I suppose that explains it. Yeah. Get off the line. They hung up. Alright, let's go. Let's see what the boss man needs. Left click to walk around. Thank you. Okay, poster. Not for keeping. Not for keeping. Huh, I wonder what that's about. Probably people stealing staplers. That's what I would assume. Some people just steal office supplies because they feel like it, it gives them some kind of power over their workplace. Like, hey, I'm gonna stick it to the to the man for real this time and steal the, the copy machine. I mean, I don't think they steal the copy machine, but I mean pens, pencils, um, headsets, stuff like that. If there's ever a robot uprising and all machines gain sentience, I wonder if copiers will be the angriest. That's a good question. What if all machines gained sentience? Who would actually be the angriest machine? Probably, you know, all those butts. Oh, that's really just in movies, though. Who's really doing the butt thing? It's a plant. That's all it is. Just a big old plant. Okay, let's go here. 
Wendy. Wow, look at Wendy. Spiffy. Oh, hello, sweetheart. Hey, Wendy. How's your day going? Oh, just wonderful. I've been listening to the mayor's press conference on the radio all day. That sounds fantastic. That sounds entertaining. That sounds beautiful. What a charming man he is. Mayor King, huh? What's so charming about him? What's he been saying? You're quite a fan of the mayor, huh? I've been meaning to ask you about those figurines. Yeah, what are those figurines in the back? They look like snow globes or little... I don't know, they're interesting. Oh, oh, you want to talk about my collection? Of course, sweetheart. I'd love to. I'll warn you, though. I'm quite the enthusiast. Ho, ho, I'm only joking. Of course. Hmm. What's on your mind? Is that Blarth? Who's Blarth? Is that Blarth from Super Splash Brothers? Oh. I think he's talking about Marth. You complete idiot! That's Sir Blyke! Can't you see the red hilt on the sword? And he's not from Super... Oh, oh no. I think that's some other character, sweetie. Now, she's intense! Actually, never mind. Yeah, we gotta get to the boss. Anyway, I gotta run. The boss wants to see me. Oh, I do hope it's good news. You know, after what happened to Lindsay. Yeah, he told me. Poor thing. Yeah, you don't have to say it again. Oh, I'll miss her. But don't worry, sweetie. You'll be right as rain. Thanks. You take care now. It's back to the radio for me. Ho ho. Speak to me, king. Become the mayor of my heart. Wow. She's a interesting old lady. It poster. Looks like a notice from the IT department. Oh, IT, my bad. Let's see. As you all know, we've been having server and computer issues the entire office. The only fix we found so far is... Excuse me. Turning the computers and servers on and off again. At first, we considered having the entire IT team running around the building doing that, but clearly that's not very efficient. That's why we're constructing an army of robots to do it for us. If you come across one of them, do not move. Sudden moves may disturb their pathfinding algorithm and or activate their mobile death beams. Have a nice weekend, IT. Now what's the point of an IT robot having death beams? Oh, here we go. We can talk to the secretary. Ooh, she looks pretty. Uh... Maybe we'll... Maybe this is the love interest. Maybe Clam Man will talk to her and realize, hey, this dead-end job, you know, it could lead to something. I could save up. I could put a down payment on a house and have a family. Hey, Cheryl. I can feel it already. I can feel the tension. Oh, hey. Did Pete tell you to come? Yep. Here to see the big man. Oh, well, he's in a meeting right now, so if you'll just have a seat in the meantime. What's new in the life of the secretary? Now, here, here we gotta, we gotta butter her up. Okay, if we want to lead a beautiful, um, fulfilling life with this purple-haired fish, we need to really butter her up or mayonnaise her up in this context. What's new in the life of the secretary? Did you hear about Lindsay? Have you noticed how every single person in this office is kind of insane? Who's the boss seeing? Oh, all right, I guess I'll just have a seat. Okay, so that's bland, not doing that. We're gonna go with this. Because this statement, have you noticed how every single person in this office is kind of insane? It kind of groups Clam Man and her into one category and brings them closer together. Let's see how this works out. Have you noticed how every single person in this office is kind of insane? Totally. Okay, bitch. Never mind. File your nails all day. Oh, oh my. Oh! Oh my god. There's a light that came out of nowhere. As the clan man sat down on the seemingly unassuming stool, he felt the sudden release and tension. 
Me too. It was as if all the problems of this world, all the issues and annoyances of everyday life, became nothing but grains of sand at the bottom of a, of a vast ocean. An ocean of great serenity and peace of mind, a body of water so calming and so assuring. He almost shed a tear in complete and utter bliss. Go ahead, shed a tear, man. Show some emotion. It was as if a voice spoke to him. No fear, Fred. It seemed to say, this peace of mine is now yours to share. I am thou and thou art I. Very Shakespearean. It was the single most comfortable stool he had ever sat on, and life would never become the same again. This stool is really comfortable. I know. Shut up, bitch. This is like a spiritual experience. It's an amazing stool. It is. Anyway, get on with it. Boss time. I trust you'll make sure of that, but it's not a question of if, it's a question of when. I understand that, I, I just need you not to worry, it's coming. It better be, for your sake. I promise. Will you make it to dinner later? Wouldn't miss it for the world, babe. Smoochy smooch. Cringe. Fucking end my little clam life. Cheryl, was that all for today? No, sir, Mr. Boss Man. I have Mr. Man here to see you like you asked. Mr. Man? My name is Clam Man. Oh, Mr. M okay, that makes sense. That's my last name. My last name would be Man. My bad. Oh, that's right. Send that whippersnapper right on in. You heard the boss. Let's go. Okay, this is not uh, what I expected. Not a fan of the weaponry on the walls. Ah, oh, there you are. Come in. Come in. Don't let my little knickknacks distract you. Who's Steve? What happened to Steve? Don't end up like Steve. Ah, yes. Tragic thing, that. You see, Steve Mollusk used to work for us here. Did a heck of a good job too, I'll admit it. But with success comes pride, I'm afraid, and Steve started taking some unfortunate liberties. He attempted to steal company property. That very stapler you see in his hand. I'm sorry, am I right to believe this is the actual body of a former employee? Frozen in man manite? Oh, not at all. I did have him frozen at first as a disciplinary measure, but HR didn't like that one bit. So I had to let him out. Decided to make a cast of it though, as a reminder to everyone. It's really grown on me too. Possibly my favorite decoration. Poor Steve. Don't end up like Steve, there it is. Dec Dec Doctorate of Mayonnaise. Mr. Bossman. Bachelor of Mayonnaise, Master of Mayonnaise, whoa, an educated man. Clam with a pearl earring, that's funny. The Abominable Fish Man, the Adorable Murdoch. Kerfadur, Kerfadurn Ficker. Is that Anthony Bourdain? Mr. Bossman, I think the plaque has been removed from the frame on this one. Mm-hmm. I removed it myself. I make no reservations regarding that. Get it? Get it? That portrait speaks for itself. Anthony Bourdain had a series called... Was it called No Reservations? It was called... It was something with the word reservations in it. Something like No Reservations or Without Reservations. I don't know. It was on Travel Channel, but... Oh, Mr. K. Ah, clammy, clammy, clam, clam. Mr. Man, my man. Hello, sir. Oh, no need to be so formal. Please, 
You know you can call me Mr. Boss Man. Right, um, you asked to see me, Mr. Boss Man? I did, I did. Please, take a seat. Oh, it looks like we're fresh out of chairs today. Just a figure of speech. Or should I say, a figure of seat. No laughs from this side. I don't know if you guys are laughing. No laughs from this side. So far, this game's pretty funny, in general. I just haven't had an out loud laugh. You see, I don't really believe in chairs. No one ever got any work done by sitting around all day. Are you standing up? Anyway, Clammy, the reason I called you here today is to ask you a question. Okay. Do you like fruit pie, Mr. Man? Oh, I absolutely adore pie, sir. Why, why pass up the chance? Maybe he's inviting us out to a nice pie dessert. Oh, I absolutely adore pie, sir. Mm-hmm. Which kind of fruit pie, Mr. Man? Would you say is your favorite? Oh, lime, probably. Um, lime's good? Wow, there's a lot of options. Lime is good. Um, but I would probably say out of all of these... Ooh, I have never had that. I've never had banana and toffee pie. Didn't know that existed. But now that I see it, I'm thinking that's my favorite pie. I'd have to say banana and toffee, probably. Aha! See, this is why you're working for Snacky Bay Prime Mayonnaise, son. That's my favorite fruit pie, too. Except that mine is probably kiwi, but they're essentially the same thing, yeah. Both fruit, both pie. Now I can tell you're confused. Why is this silly old sausage talking about fruit pies? Well, you see, Clammy, can I call you Clammy? Oh, sure. Ah, if it was me in his shoes, I probably would say no. You gotta, when you're um, in front of the boss, right? When you're in front of a manager or something, you really gotta, you gotta assert yourself so that they don't keep coming after you. Uh, because if you, if you are weak and at any point, they'll just come after you and target you really, really hard. You see, Clammy, a company is very much like a fruit pie. Not a meat pie, not a pecan pie, a fruit pie. Aren't all pies pretty similar? Just a figure of speech. Now the pastry base, that's the framework of the company. That's the tools we use, that's the product we sell. The basic building foundation of any successful enterprise, pastry. And the fruit filling? That's you. You and the ha all the hardworking people that place time and effort into their particular fruit pie. Sweet, tangy, and delicious. Sometimes people will add some spices to the filling. Cinnamon, chocolate. These things are what we place in our workers to bring out the best in them. I see. Trust, encouragement, motivation. You see, while a fruit may be delicious in itself, sometimes you have to season it to bring out its full potential flavor. That's why I like to sprinkle you all with my spices. That's probably not a good way of putting it. Walking around the office, adding a dash of trust or a pinch of motivation. I do that to get everyone's sweet, delicious, ripe juices flowing. That's probably not the best way to put it either. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, that would be my reaction. Because those juices, Clammy, are what make a pie to die for. Those tasty juices are good enough to just lick straight off you all. That's interesting. I don't know if I'd be comfortable with this um, in Clam Man's position. Uh, I think that's the point. I think that's where the humor comes from, but I'm just putting it out there. Now you see, Clammy, why I think a fruit pie is a very descriptive and accurate metaphor for a successful company. Wouldn't you agree? Probably not. I'm gonna say, so which part of the pie is the management? That's a lot of fruit pies. Well, you've made a strong argument. We're gonna feed his ego a little bit. Butter him up, so to speak. Manny's him up. Like we were going with, with, the, with the purple hair fish, but this time to a guy, to a brother. 
Well, you've certainly made a pretty strong argument. Excellent. The comparison goes even deeper than you, uh, than that, you see. Much like the management of a company, the topping of a fruit pie sometimes realizes that it's spending more money on filling than the pastry base can sustain. He's gonna fire me. Oh no. Now the topping, delicious as it is, realizes it's not good enough to serve on its own. It needs the juicy filling beneath it. However, the guys from accounting come along, they tell the topping that this filling is some primo expensivo fruit, and the delectable topping is forced to make some tough calls. Please, no sir. I need this job, I'm a, I'm a cuck, I'm a beta cuck. I need... So wanting to remain within budgetary restrictions, yet still retain core competency in the pie, the topping chooses to cut a slice out. This slice was Lindsay. I swear I'll... I'll jump off the building! Wait, what? Oh, so that's why Lindsay was fired. She was too expensive fruit? Yes, Clammy. I'm glad to hear you understand. Oh, I see. That's a relief. A relief? How so? Did you and Lindsay not get along? No, no. She was real nice. I just kind of assumed that... Oh, I'm sorry to have confused you. What did you assume? Well, I can see it might have been silly of me, but I thought I was the one being let go. Oh! <laughs> oh, I can see how I made you think that. How funny. I was thinking of Lindsay all along. You're also fired, though. Dot, dot, dot. Damn, man! Can't deliver it a little more smoother than that? Big fucking fruit pie metaphors and shit, and then you slap me in the face? I'm afraid one slice of pie wasn't enough, you see. Another one had to go. I wonder why I have to go. Are my numbers bad? Because I don't know whether to feel bad or not bad for Clan Man. Because usually they start letting go people who are on the bottom first. And while I understand that working, probably working a desk job like this is like brain numbing and it's probably very difficult to do a good job in this kind of uh, environment. Still, I mean, if he's at the bottom, he's at the bottom. You gotta cut what you, you gotta cut the bad part. You know, you gotta trim the fat, is what I'm trying to say. In simpler terms, you gotta trim the fat. I can't believe this. No, I'm not gonna do that, that's petty. But I've been with this company for years. Oh, if I have, then I, I better speak up. But I've been with this company for years. I just made junior sales. Why me? Oh, that's interesting. If he's doing good and he, he's got tenure, then that's interesting. And you've done a really good job, too. It is really a shame to see you go. But you're the one firing me. Yes, real shame. Will you stop talking about pies? He's not talking about pies anymore. I'm going to say I can't believe this, because I might push the conversation along a little bit better. I can't believe this. Well, look at it this way. One door closes, another one opens. More specifically, the one behind you. Can't I at least take the private elevator out? Like the guy you were meeting earlier? Yeah, I'd love to let you, but I really don't want you to. Private elevator. Clammy. Oh, and on your way out... Do you think you could tell Cheryl to order me some lunch? I'm all hungry now for some reason. Son of a bitch. I mean, he really alpha. He really alpha that that firing right there. I'm not I'm not going to lie. I'm sure it takes a certain skill to fire somebody. You got fired from your job? That really sucks, you know. That you got fired from your job. Now you're part now you're not part of any fruit pie. Any size or shape. Oh no, the clam man. Oh, it's. It's a song. Sorry, I had the the volume all the way down. So 
<laughs> okay. First laugh out loud. This dude's relentless. Beautiful voice, though. Act one, rock bottom. <laughs> 